Okay guys, today we're gonna remove this accelerator cable, the gas pedal or the accelerator pedal. Now this is our school cutout, our cutout to see how things are, how things work. Um, I think this get, gives us a better perspective or what to expect when removing the accelerator cable. And although it's very easy to remove from this point of view, this has to be difficult to remove under the dashboard. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. We're also gonna talk about the different type of accelerator cables. This, I don't think this was originally in here. I doubt it. What originally came in this vehicle was a um, 2.3 liter. And when I bought it, someone had installed an A cylinder in here, 302. And this is what you typically see for the 302. I got a few of them laying around. I'll show you guys that. And we're gonna also take a look at what the V6 looked like and what the 2.3 liters looked like. I have those original ones as well. But let's take this off. Just, let's remove the accelerator cable first. And see, this is a cutout. You get a 3D or three dimensional view of everything or how it works or how it functions or how it's uh, installed in this vehicle. These are 3 8 inch bolt. Those are two first, but. Before we remove those, I think we should focus on this. So this is what I mean about it being difficult to remove from underneath the dashboard because as you guys know, there's a housing here that um, the steering column sits in. Also, there's the brake pedal. So all that's had in this. So it'd be tough to get in under here somehow or maybe on the back side of here and get this cable out of here I don't know if you you may have to just remove the entire pedal we're gonna do that both we're gonna do that as well to see if that would allow you to change this cable because I can't see you getting it you can see how it's how close it is to the fuse box it's right to the, next to the fuse box that's that's there's really no room up here and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about so of course it's super simple now and I'll, let's, let's remove it really quick let's remove it from here and I'll show you I mean so the thing is let me try to get the needle nose in here like so when I was shooting this video guys I forgot to mention that you may can use a trim removal tool and get um, to remove that plastic retainer with that cable sits in um, underneath the dashboard without removing the pedal but I didn't talk about that I should have kind of brought that up uh, because I do got some trim tools I got a lot of them and I got one that may would work to get uh, that plastic retainer out of there from underneath the dashboard. And I'll kind of show you guys how it's in there underneath it. Okay, now that we got the cable removed, let's get the pedal. It's a half inch bolt there. And there's another one right there adjacent to it at the bottom see these they sit on an angle so let's get this off real quick. It. So here's the accelerator pedal. Let's take a closer look at it. So here's the accelerator pedal. This is the pedal pretty much in all of them. The four cylinder, six cylinder, and the eight cylinder one. This is the same pedal setup. Spring here. This is the accelerator cable. This is for the V8. I'm pretty sure this cable is strictly for the V8. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. But well, I believe this is extremely difficult because how do you get up there and reach this if you don't take this pedal down some to give you access to get up here and i'll show you what i'm talking about right now all right guys this is the gray one it was this is originally was a 2.3 liter engine in here four cylinder however when i bought it it's a v8 this is the v8 accelerator cable and i'll show you guys i'll confirm that uh with my mustang that's originally a v8 as you guys can see somebody re replaced it somebody removed this i removed the four cylinder one the four cylinder 
and the six cylinders are the same. They are the same accelerator cables, and I'll show you guys that too. I'm pretty sure of that, but the difficult part of replacing this, if you look, here's a, we got another cutout here. Look at the steering, that brace, or that the steering column sits in, um, or that bracket, that metal bracket, a brace. Uh, it houses the brake pedal. Got a video for that on my channel, how to remove all of that. But if you come through under the dashboard, I got some light under here for you, show you guys. Um, without taking that pedal down, it's very hard to reach up in there and um, remove that uh, plastic part. So this pedal has to get dropped down. You guys can see the two bolts uh, adjacent to each other. Yeah, you have to take that pedal down some in order to have access to uh, that plastic washer that that uh, cable sits in so let's go take a look at the four cylinders uh, in the six cylinder accelerated cable so here's the four cylinder this is the four cylinder guys the 2.3 uh, as you guys can see of course it's the same setup everything's the same until it comes out to here uh, to the carp you guys can see Move this vacuum out the way. This is totally different. The six cylinder is also made just like this, where it connects it uh, to the carb. Look at the length and look how it's made. This won't work for the V8, but the 2.3 and the 2.8s, this will work. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So let's go take a look at the 2.8 one. Okay, this is originally a 2.8, uh, came in here, 2.8 setup. Uh, this is the same as the 2.3. I believe this is the, I think this is the, for the pat, for the transmission for the passenger cable. I think this is the passenger cable. But this is the uh, 2.3, 2.8. It has the same accelerated cable. Now let's go look at the V8 and we'll close this video out. Uh, just confirm the V8 accelerated cable. But same, mount up in the same position. Same setup. It just... Um, when it gets to the carb, uh, there's a different orientation of the carb from the 2.3, 2.8, and the V8. So it's a difference there. So uh, let's look at the V8. All right, guys, in closing, uh, let's look at the V8 cable, the setup on it. You guys can see how it is. It's the one that we just seen, the, the first two. The exact same cable, exact same setup. Um, but yeah, the other ones won't work um, in the for the V8. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Gonna be disassembling uh, the car. I'm gonna try to fill uh, the internet with as much as content online as possible. I'm trying to show every different aspect of these Mustangs. I think the Pintos are just like them, or similar, very similar in the Mercury Bobcat. Just trying to fill the internet up with all this information for these older uh, vehicles that's not getting much love until I move on to the next vehicles. And I'll do the same with that. Every vehicle I get on the channel from here on out, I'm going to go to the vast lengths of showing every single detail of how to and uh, remove something and how to install it. I'm gonna show for every single older car I get on the channel from here on out. I'm just gonna go way out. I'm gonna go above and beyond showing the details like I'm doing these Mustangs. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Terrence and I'm out.